Hey, Mikey, what's up, man? I'm good, JJ. What are you doing here? What are we doing today? We're gonna build a tsunami house. And the main rule is that whoever builds the most beautiful and efficient house wins $1 million. Wow, wow, that's quite a prize. That kind of money doesn't come cheap, so I'm ready. So what are the rules? The first rule is that you go to the other side of the meadow and we start building houses. So another rule is that we have to use these blue colored vision blocks to make it look like a tsunami. You got it, Mikey? Tsunami? Yeah, I get it. But can't you come up with something interesting? Hey, I don't get why you don't like it. A house in the shape of a tsunami is really cool and creative. Maybe even some villagers won't bother us all the time when they see a tsunami and get scared of it. Ha 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 ha. Uh, what are the rules? You still haven't fully explained. There are no rules, so you can do whatever you want. But we can change the rules as the competition progresses. Uh, so I can do whatever I want? Am I understanding you correctly? Yes, in theory, but hey, I don't like your tone of voice. I think you're up to something I don't like. Calm down, JJ. It's not going to be a big deal. You can just keep building and not even pay attention to me. All right, I hope you're right. <laughs> hey, you, you dirty bug. What are you doing? And get out of here. You said I can do whatever I want because there are no rules. So I'm going to get in your way. Yeah, Mikey's right. And now he's going to prank me like this? Well, then what's stopping me from doing it myself? I'll find time to prank him, too. If he can do that to me, I'll do it to him, too. Hey, JJ, what are you being so quiet about? Why don't you say something? What do you want me to say? Mikey, don't bother me yet. You better think about how you can make this disgrace better that you're building. Ah, I got an idea in my head. It looks like Mikey's gone somewhere. Oh, there's Mikey. Well, that's okay, because right now I'm going to put a bunch of dynamite under his building in the form of two pieces, ha ha ha, and see how he reacts to it. JJ, oh my God, what have you done? What's wrong, Mikey? You're the one who said there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. That means that rule applies to me too. So next time I'm putting a din mate under your house, watch out. So unfair. There won't be a next time because I'll beat you up. So, I'm building this house, but it's not so easy anymore. Because my house has to be prettier so I can beat Mikey. And to make it beautiful, I have to use my imagination. It's not enough to just use a huge, tall, straight wave. The tsunami is the bending of the water waves at different angles. So I have to create a beautiful geometric shape that looks as much like a tsunami as possible and makes it scary to look at. Jay, why did you decide to create a house with transparent blocks? Aren't you afraid that all the villagers will be watching you? No, Mikey. There's so much glass that the image will just look different all the time. So you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anonymity if that's what you're talking about. Uh, okay then. I noticed that we still have some blocks, right? Of course. That's not the only material we'll use to build the house. I like the fact that my house looks like some kind of monster. Look at it. Cool, JJ. Don't let me stop you from building, okay? What do you got here, Mikey? How you doing? You came to help me out? Well, then help me up there. Yeah, I'll help you so much. What do you want here? Hey, what's that smell? JJ, you're doing it again. Why did you do that? You're gonna ruin my house. I'm already having trouble with this, and you're screwing with me. Well, Mikey, we don't have rules. Or have you forgotten that? Jay, watch your step next time, because this kind of thing has a way of coming back. Well, I need to finish my house because I've wasted a lot of time with Mikey's pranks. But that's okay. I think I have just a little bit left and I can start decorating the inside of the house. That's right. I think the house is a little too small, don't you? Ah, uh, no. I guess I'm just imagining it. It's a pretty big house for one person, so it'll be fine, I guess. Ah, I really went for the monster style so that this house would look like a tsunami and a monster's mouth at the same time. Ah ha 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 I like it. But what about Mikey? How's he doing? And I wonder what he's building. I think I have a much better house than Mikey. <laughs> hey, Mikey, I'm sick of these pranks. Are you here to mess with me again? No, Mikey. I came here to put a wall up. So I'm gonna type one command into the chat room and a bad rock wall will appear. Wow, that 
that's an interesting idea. I doubt it'll do us any good. That's how it's gonna be, because I have a feeling you're always watching me. I don't need you, JJ, because I have enough problems of my own. So, so, I keep building my house, and oh my god, I didn't even realize it could take this long. Uh, did you ever think that glass isn't the strongest material? And building a house out of glass, that's just stupid. Any rain would just destroy our houses. No, Mikey, you're wrong. You know why? Because it's reinforced glass. It's even harder to shatter if you shoot a gun at it. Wow, that sounds cool. Well, all the more so, I created this glass using a special recipe I bought from a sorcerer. A sorcerer? And where is this sorcerer? Is there anything else he can do? Ahahaha, ah, ah, ah. he can do a lot of things. Do you want me to take you to him? I'd like that. I'd like to see what interesting things the sorcerer has. And maybe even buy some goods from him. Come on! Don't get distracted by building a house. You'd better work on your design. Because I have the impression that I have a much better house than you. Well, this is what my house looks like and I like it a lot, but is there something missing? What if I edit something here? Like these blocks. Everything looks too symmetrical and correct. It's like there's not enough chaos in my house to make it look diverse. Uh, chaos in the house to make it more varied? Hmm. Hey, you. Don't eavesdrop on what I'm saying out loud. You better use your imagination and not just copy my house. Uh, you're the one standing there yelling so loud you can be heard all the way over here. And you really think I don't have an imagination? Well, from what I saw when you were building it, I don't want to upset you, Mikey. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna prove you wrong, JJ. And then you're gonna apologize to me, JJ. <laughs> Funny! Well, I'd like to see what kind of house you're gonna build. So the $1 million prize should be a great motivator for you, right? Yeah, you're right, JJ. So I'm gonna try to beat you and be the winner of this competition. So, so I've added some color to my house in the form of these blocks, so that it would look a little bit not in the same color, but something with a kind of shade or something? Naturally, inside this wave, I'll build a house, but oh my god, there's very little space. And I'm frankly very disappointed because I thought there'd be plenty of room, but I'll figure something out. But I really like the way this house looks from the outside. Maybe I'll try to expand my house with some movement. Maybe I'll build a second floor because there was room for all that stuff in there somewhere. Hmm. And what else am I gonna come up with that's so interesting? Oh, my head's totally screwed up. Hey, JJ, I see you're getting a little bored around here. Hey, Mikey, what are you doing? Stop it right now. No, JJ, you're looking a little too good, and I need to fix it a little. Get out of here now so I don't see you here again. Uh-uh, not enough explosions. Let's add some more. Stop it. I told you what you don't understand, you stupid piece of body. Uh, for saying such a bad word, here's a surprise. Well, you know what, Mikey? You're gonna regret this, I promise you. Ah, Mikey, you'll soon get so bored with this. So, I'm all set. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I used lapis lazuli to build myself a little floor like this. Well, I've got everything ready and I think I can move on to the furniture. I hope that filthy worm named Mikey doesn't come in here and mock me. I don't need you anymore, JJ. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna take care of my house for now. Make sure you don't blow anything up in there, okay? Okay, it's time to put some furniture in here. So, and what do I need to build a cozy and comfortable place inside? Hmm. So I've decided that I'm going to have a bed here and closets next to it. And I'm gonna have a nice kitchen because how am I gonna cook if I don't have a kitchen? So there's a stove, there's a refrigerator, so it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'd also like to set up a table. I'll be sitting and eating at the table, which makes sense. The table will be big enough and that's good. And I wouldn't mind installing a plasma screen. I mean a TV. It will stand somewhere here, I think. In front of the TV, of course, a sofa to sit and watch comfortably. I also have little things like wall clocks, calendars. I also have some cabinets. I also have an aquarium. Of course, I didn't forget the toilet and the shower stall. I have so many of these things that I'm going to get confused talking about them all. 
The only downside is that it's all in one super huge room. I guess it's a little lacking in walls or something. And I want to add a little computer to this place, so I can sit and play games or something. So, this is what my house looks like. And what can I say? I like it. It's very cozy and comfortable, and I fulfilled all the conditions for this house to look like a huge tsunami wave. I thought I could make the house much bigger, but unfortunately not. It just so happens that this house won't look exactly like I planned. But I like it anyway. It's still a comfortable enough house for me. Basically, I think there's room for Mikey too. Oh, by the way, how's he doing? I think he's already built his house, right? Let's see how he's doing. I'm gonna write a command in the chat room to remove the wall and we'll start our review. So Mikey, you ready? Uh, yeah, JJ, come on, hurry up and see my house. I tried to make you like it. Well, listen, it does look like a tsunami, but you've only got one color. You better go see what I've got in here. How do you like it? Well, you know, Mikey, your place isn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it's like you're missing something. I don't know. I like your house, but it looks a little too simple and a little too poor in some places. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have better resources, and I didn't have any imagination, and I didn't work at all. Let's see what you've got here. Show me! Well, look, Mikey. How do you like my big wave? Wow! It looks cool! And all the different colors! What's in here? Wow! It's so beautiful in here! At first I thought it was some kind of presidential luxury hotel room. It's really super cool! Ha 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 ha! Is that what it reminds you of? I see that you have the coolest and most useful things here! You even have a TV! And not just a TV, as you may have noticed. I've got a computer in here too! Uh, yeah, JJ. It's super cool, and I love your place. I think it's pretty clear who won. And let our viewers decide whose house they like better. Mikey's house that looks like a rustic simple house. Or my presidential luxury hotel room. Let our viewers decide who owns $1 million. Hey, JJ, who the hell is this clown? Uh-huh. These statues here would be perfect for me to wipe this place off the face of the earth. Hey, man. What are you doing? These are our houses. JJ, is this another one of your pranks? We're done competing, aren't we? Mikey, we're in trouble. Some wizard wants to do something to our houses. I'm about to connect them and perform a ritual to bring these statues to life and turn them into a tsunami. Hey, you, don't even think about doing that. These are our homes, not some statues. Do you hear me? JJ, why is he doing this? What does he want with us? I don't know, but it looks like something's going on and it looks like we're in real trouble. Those dirty farmers, they wanted to destroy my lighthouse but now they'll be without their homes and this tsunami will help me with that. Oh my God, what the hell is that monster? Come on, tsunami, go and destroy the village with the villagers. <laughs> oh no, I think we're in big trouble. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. We need to get ahead of the villagers. Hey, Mikey, can you hear me? I said, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, JJ. I'm just standing here thinking about how we can stop this. Are you crazy? We can't. It's nature, and we can't just stop this tsunami. Hey, villagers. You're in serious trouble because there's a huge tsunami coming. Yes, run for your lives. Pack your things and get out of here. We need to stop the wave, and I have something. Are you crazy? How do we stop such a huge wave? It's just unrealistic. What do you have in mind that's so special? We'll dig a huge hole while we still have time, and all the water will fall right in there. Ah, uh, are you serious? Wow, that's interesting, actually. Come on, JJ, shovel in hand and dig up all this stuff. I'm gonna hope this actually helps, because I don't think it will. It's gonna be okay, so go dig a hole, and then we'll see what happens next. Whoa, Mikey, it's been a while and we've dug up quite a bit. Uh, it's not enough. We need more space for more water to fall in. I hear you, Mikey. Then it's done. Now what's it gonna be? I can see we've got ourselves a super huge hole. That's right, JJ. Now we gotta get out of here, because if we don't get out of here in time, we're gonna get swept away. Oh my God, our houses. I can't believe we lost all this. All this hard work and labor, just to have some dude fly in and make a circus out of it. Look, I think the water's starting to fill the hole. Uh, I 
hope we dug a big enough hole for all the water to get in? Yeah, I'm gonna hope so. Because if we don't, we're not gonna be able to stop the tsunami. So what now? Did we make it or didn't we? I don't understand it, honestly. It looks like the water's trying to come out of the hole. What does that mean? That we didn't dig the hole enough? It looks like it. We did the best we could, but unfortunately, the tsunami is too big for a hole this big to stop it. We have to get out of here. Oh my god, this is just awful. I can't believe it, but why didn't we make it? It's not our fault, because we didn't have enough time to dig the hole. And then there's the villagers. They saw what we were doing, and they didn't help us. And this is their village, so they should have done something instead of just standing there watching us. So honestly, I agree with that wizard. Those villagers really deserved it. I guess that's their fate. But our houses. Oh my god. I feel so bad for the houses we built, and they're just gone. Oh no. Yes, J2J, it's unfortunate, but it's not our fault. 